In this video, you'll learn how to use mobile access to help you remotely manage irrigation on your site. Using a mobile device, either your phone or a tablet, open a web browser. Navigate to baselineapps.net slash m. This shortcuts one of the steps at App Manager and will take you right into the mobile access portion. Log in with your username and secure password that you previously created to access your controllers. Here's another method that's even easier. Create a mobile access shortcut on your phone home screen to jump right to the login page. While both of these look like an app that you would get from the App Store or Google Play, it's just a web browser and an internet connection. My company that I use for training has three different controllers, so I need to select the correct controller. Now I can see the common field task that mobile access works for. This isn't a substitution for full app manager, but it's a very efficient tool to use remotely. Before we get into the capabilities, let's look at the bottom navigation icons. The home button takes you back to the controller list. The menu button takes you to controller operations. The arrow logs out. Remembering what these icons do can prevent you from accidentally logging out like I just did. The function manual run zone is something that's commonly used. Here's the list of zones from the search and assign process, many that I've already named. Near the bottom of the list are zones that I haven't named. Without map view, it's hard to know where these are, so it's a good idea to name your zones in desktop base manager. I'll select zone eight to manually run and change the runtime from the default 10 minutes to three minutes, then press start. Notice that that runtime is counting down from that three minutes. I don't want zone eight to run for that full three minutes, so I'll press stop to end the manual run. Using the arrow keys at the bottom, I can move to zone nine or zone 10 while leaving that same three minute runtime. This is helpful when doing a system wet check out in the field. Back at the menu, the next task we'll look at is start or stop a program. I'll select program four and then press start. Program four will turn blue, indicating that it's manually running. If I don't want program four to complete its full program, I'll just press stop to terminate that manual run. At the test device menu, I can test every device connected to the two wire path. They might be zones, master valves, flow meters, or even pressure sensors. I'll select soil moisture sensor one and then press test. Now this shows the current moisture content, the soil temperature, and the health of the two wire path. At flow status, I can see if any water is running through my flow meters. I have three different water sources on the site. None of them are flowing. Other options include reviewing my rain sensor status, setting a rain delay, or geolocating a device. We'll cover geolocating in another video where we see how to speed up the base manager map creation process using your mobile device. At messages, I can review controller messages or delete them if I don't need them. It's a good idea to leave your messages intact until you've resolved any issues associated with that message. When you're finished with mobile access, don't forget to log out. 